I'm gonna show you how to make red food dye naturally. If you have a child or you yourself have ADHD or some other neurological disorder, it has been proven that red food coloring can actually make the symptoms worse or have a huge effect on how you, your child, somebody you know deals with the issues that they have going on. If you're having a birthday party, some sort of celebration, and there might be children with ADHD and you're gonna be using red food coloring, this is a great alternative to uh, doing your frosting. You use this big ugly guy right here. Actually, they're kind of pretty. They have a pretty color. It's a beet, in case you don't know. Don't know who eats beets too much? The uh, cashier at the grocery store was actually shocked that I was buying a beet. She told me a little story about her childhood and beets, which, yeah, we won't go there. But anyway, I'm going to attempt to do it. I've never done it. I've had friends that have done it. And supposedly this is a great alternative. Um, to get a deep, deep red, I don't know. But I'm going to be utilizing it for a recipe that I'm going to be doing uh, later. Choose a chicken. If you haven't had it, you need to try it. I will link the video eventually once I'm done with it. But in the meantime, I thought I'd do a separate video to show you how to do red food coloring. So here's what you got to do. Rinse, wash your beet very well. I'm going to shred it. It's going to make a mess. You don't want it to stain anything. So, And I honestly don't know if I'm supposed to peel it or not. I'm going to try not peeling it, but... Let's give this a shot. We're going to grate it with the fine grater. So protect your surfaces, use the fine grater. Let's see how this goes. Well, after just shredding it, it's definitely turned my uh, hands a nice shade of pinkish purple which is great. Gives you a good workout too. I started getting like carpal tunnel from doing that. But anyway, if you didn't see, there's what we got thus far. Right there. So now we're gonna put it in a paper towel. Kind of like the tzatziki sauce where I had to squeeze the cucumber. We're gonna do the same thing. If you didn't see the tzatziki sauce, Check out that link. Now we're gonna try to get our red color out of here. Think I've got enough. It's more of a purpley pink right now, but uh, you know, I think it's gonna work. Thanks for watching, give it a shot. Hope it helps you. Have a good day.